Hey guys, I have a huge Sephora savings event haul for you. The Sephora savings event is going on right now. If you are Rouge, you get 20% off. I already posted my recommendations and wish list, so check that video out if you have not already, but I have a lot that I ended up getting. I still have a few things on the way, so I might have a part two, we'll see. I wanted to just share with you what I got from the sale. So I'll start off with what is on my face because I was already playing around with a lot of this stuff. So starting with something that wasn't on my wish list at all, but I saw it and I forgot to bring it up, but it is the new Supergoop Protect Tint, Daily SPF Tint, it's SPF 50. So I got the shade 26W and it is a perfect match. I'm wearing it today. I love that it's SPF 50. I'm a huge fan of the glow screen, which I have right here. I've gone through so many tubes of this, the original one, and then this is the new Golden Hour shade, which is a little, slightly darker, but I like that this tint is SPF 50. So slightly higher sun protection than the glow screen and not as glowy. So occasionally I'll run into someone who is like, your face is very shiny, <laughs> which I prefer a glowy radiant look. This is usually my go-to definitely in the warmer months, but maybe in the winter or if I'm in some kind of a situation or an event where I don't want to be super glowy, I prefer this. And this is more like for an everyday, but I just love the color. It is a mess free applicator and it's just very easy to apply a nice compact size for travel. So I'm really looking forward to wearing this the rest of the summer. And let me just interject with the two palettes that I was really most looking forward to. Unfortunately, they were not in stock in stores, so I had to order it. So I'm still waiting, but we have the Makeup Forever Face Sculpting Palette. This is the like contour shades and you know foundation concealer highlighter shades they came out with another version of it where it's more rosier tone so you can use it as blush so that one is on the way and then I ordered the Danessa Myricks Groundworks this is the defining neutrals but I ordered the new groundwork I think it's called blooming romance so instead of all the neutral brown colors the Blooming Romance version is more rosier tone, so you can use it on your lips, your face, cheeks, you know, whatever. I love that this formula is a mix of pomade and powder. These two palettes together are such a great combo, and with the rosier tones, I think it is really just all you need for a full face. And then on my eyes today, I have the new Makeup by Mario Master Matte, the Neutrals palette. I am a huge fan of the original Master Mattes, you know, the warmer tone shadows, which I have right here. So this is the original, this is the new neutral, this is more neutral and cool tone. I love these neutral tones. I think the formula is pretty much exactly the same. They're very easy to work with, very blendable. I can use all these shades all over my face, my brows. I can use it as contour if I want. Very nice all over palette and a nice compliment to the original. And then on my lips right now, I have a combo of three new things that I picked up. Starting off with the Makeup Forever Lip Liner in the shade 708 Universal earth i regret that i missed out on the last savings event they had a makeup forever like set of these lip liner they're not lip liners they're all over you can use it on your eyes some shades apparently are not eye safe but you can use this all over your face i guess i missed out on the set and i regretted not picking it up but i love this formula it's very creamy it doesn't like tug on your lips and i love this color for me because i'm you know i'm pretty tan so this is a very like deep dark nude I guess you could say like a medium darkish brown, but I just have this line all around my lips. And then inside I filled it in with the new YSL Love Shine. So I got this new formula in the shade 202 Peachy Glow, which is interesting because it doesn't look peach at all. It's almost like a rosewood. I mean, you don't need a lip liner with this. I just was trying it out because I just love the formula. This has more pigment than the original lipstick, lip oil and balm stick from YSL. And then to top it off, I have the new Huda Beauty Faux Filler Extra Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Bombshell. Now this wasn't on my wish list at all, but when I went in store, I checked out the Huda Beauty Gondola and there was some new stuff that I just haven't really been checking for. And I tried it on, I love the formula. I love that it doesn't have a scent. It's not sticky. It's so weird how they're able to make it not sticky, but this is the original Bombshell shade and i just really like it this is the big doe foot applicator it picks up a lot of products so i kind of have to wipe it off but then i just swipe swipe on my lips and it gives it a nice little touch of color so i have this again with two other products but i could definitely just wear this on its own and then on my cheeks i have the new rare beauty soft pinch luminous powder blush i love her formula for her highlighter and it's very similar. It's very soft, like a baked formula, but I love this color. This is in the shade Joy, which is like a more of a corally shade. I like that it is very similar to my go-to 
blush right now, which is from House Labs. This is the House Labs Bioradiant Gel Powder Highlighter in the shade Fire Opal. And this is more of a blush. This is obviously more orangey and like more fiery than the Rare Beauty Joy blush. So this is more, like a little more subtle than the House Labs one. So I could see using this more as an everyday. I love the color. I think this looks really pretty when you're really tan, you know, a little warm tone. So looking forward to using this in the summer. And then for highlighter on my cheeks and on my brow bone, on my eyes, I have the new Fenty Beauty highlighter. She just came out with a bunch of new highlighters. I already love her formula. I forget the name of her other highlighters, but this is a new formula, new packaging. I love the iridescent color. This is called the Demi Glow Light Diffusing Highlighter. And I got it in the shade Prosecco, which I believe is the lightest color. So these highlighters are really diverse range of colors. And so this formula is very soft, very easy to work with, very blendable. That's what it looks like. Oh, very pretty. Look at that. But that is the lightest shade Prosecco. And I might check out some of the other colors. All right, now moving on to skincare. I was really looking forward to this one. This is the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm in the rose scents because I love the original pro collagen cleansing balm and I love rose so I got this one and I immediately tried it but when you buy the cleansing balm you get this very nice Elemis cleansing face cloth so I like this the formula is the same as the original cleansing balm well if you're sensitive to fragrance you wouldn't be considering this I think it is very rosy and it's like a very perfumey rose not like an earthy fresh rose it smells like perfume i don't mind it but i probably will after this one i'll stick with the original one so just heads up if you're not into fragrances don't get the rose cleansing balm if you love roses you would love this because it's very rosy for sets i was definitely looking forward to the new sephora favorites deluxe perfume sampler you get all these deluxe perfume samples which a lot of these are just mini replicas of the full-size fragrance and then you get a certificate to redeem for a full size. Now, when I pick my order up in store, I usually open up the package right away and redeem it for the full size in store so I can just like get it right away. Unfortunately, they didn't have the one I wanted in store. I think I have all these fragrances, but I definitely wanted to trade the voucher in for the full size Burberry Goddess. It's very vanilla, very pretty. They didn't have it in store, so you can redeem the certificate online. So I'm gonna do that later, but. So here are all the deluxe perfume samples. You get a little booklet that tells you the notes and then the certificate is inside that you can redeem for whichever full size you want. But these are such a great value because it retails for $90, but it's up to a $159 value depending on which perfume you get. I believe the Burberry Goddess is $105 for the full size. So with my 20% off, I paid $72 and then I'll get this $105 fragrance. So I save about 30, 30 bucks getting this sampler during the savings event. Another value set I picked up is the Fresh Beauty Cleanse and Deeply Hydrate Set. This comes with all the full size products. You get the rose face cream. This is the oil infused serum, the toner, and then the cleanser. I just gravitate towards rose skincare <laughs> and I love the Fresh Beauty Rose skincare. So I used to use this all the time. I've been kind of switching up my skincare. These are my like OGs. I've always used these products. So once I go through my current routine, I have these to fall back on. Another great limited edition value set is the Caudalie Vino Perfect Face and Eye Brightening Trio. I was already set to get just the Caudalie Vino Perfect Serum. This alone retails for $82, but with this set that also retails for $82, you get a bonus Vino Perfect Brightening Eye Cream and then the moisturizer. So you're basically getting these two free for the price of just this. So 82 and then with my 20% off, whatever it is, it's $120 value. So I love this. I always get these sets during the savings events because I love the serum. And then speaking of serums, I tried this on in store. I've seen videos of it. It looks so pretty. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Hue Drops. I think this is kind of similar vibes to the, is it the Drunk Elephant Bronzing Drops? But it's a serum with a, a slight tint, hue, and uh, it's called Sun Glow, but it just looks so pretty. So here's the applicator, it's a little pump. Okay, so it comes off pretty dark, but then once you rub it and blend it in, it just makes your skin look so glowy and radiant. And it smells good. Mm, it smells like watermelon. Put it on my neck. <laughs> Very excited to use this. Even the packaging is like this iridescent bronze. For body care, I picked up the Way Wanna Get Away St. Bart's like duo. I was just going to get the Way St. Bart's body cream, but then with this set, I save 
whatever it is that you save. So this comes with the full size body cleanser. I have a body cleanser and I have another backup that I'm working through, but I love this St. Bart's scent from the Way collection. I really hope they come out with more like ancillaries in this scent, but this is the cleanser and then the full size body cream. We have a lot of trips coming up this summer and this is my go-to like scent of the summer. I always bring this full size with me because we do a lot of road trips. If we're traveling, you know, it's a little tougher. I mean, I might still put this in my check bag, but it just is such a pretty summery vacation scent. And then speaking of scents, I got the Rare Beauty Find Comfort Fragrance Body and Hair Mist, I believe it's called. I love this scent when it came out. I got the hand cream right away. Here is the hand cream. I also have the Fine Comfort Gel Pen. I don't know what it's called, but it's like a little travel fragrance, but it's like a gel fragrance. So instead of a spray, like a liquid spray, it's a scented like a moisturizing gel that you rub into your pulse points. But here is the full size fragrance mist. This is described as a super fine fragrance mist infused with biotin, niacinamide, and peach flower extract to revitalize your hair and body throughout the day with a fresh addictive scent. I believe the scents are like lavender and chamomile and it's just like very soothing and relaxing. Mm. I'm instantly relaxed and calm and at, at ease <laughs> with this fragrance mist. And again, because I do have some trips coming up this summer, I just restocked on my favorite hair travel set. This is the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair, um, Strengthen and Repair Hair Care Mini Trio, or like, I guess there's four products. So you get the shampoo, the conditioner, the hair mask, and then this oil. I love this, love this hair travel set, especially when I'm traveling, if we're going on a beach trip or somewhere where I'm gonna be in the water and I just, you know, wanna protect my hair from damage from being in the water, I always get this. And it's just very easy to travel with. And then you also get the oil. I'm just always getting this. I get this with every trip. I pretty much have to restock. So I figured during the savings event, I can get this for 20% off. All Sephora collection products are 30% off regardless of your tier. So I picked up a like travel pack of the Sephora Glowing Cleansing Wipes. This is in the rose scent. They actually have smaller travel packs, but again, we have some longer trips coming up. So I just always stock up on these for 30% off. I did an in-store pickup order and I just noticed that they threw this in here. So that's what happens sometimes when you do a in-store pickup, they'll just throw in a little sample. So this is the K18 Leave-In Molecular Repair Hair Mask. I've tried this before, it's very nice. If you like this, now is a great time to restock on your K18 mask. By the way, everything I talk about will be linked in the description below and I will also tag it in the video you can click to shop. Another item that was on my wish list is the Laneige Dreamy Lip Kit. This is four of their mini lip masks. I am a huge fan of the full size lip mask. And so I love these kits because they have minis of them. And I just like to scatter them around my home, around my different purses and my car. The scents here are berry, sweet candy, mango, and peach iced tea, which I don't think I've tried the peach iced tea. I think that's this one. And then mango, I also really like. And sticking with Laneige, I picked up a full size of the Laneige Cream Skin Sarah Peptide Toner and Moisturizer. I got the big bottle. This is the one that has the pump. I've tried smaller versions of this, like travel sizes, and then I just never actually put, purchased the full size. I always just end up getting samples of it. And every time I try it, I'm like, it is so good. I don't know why I just never go and purchase it. It's probably because I'm going through other, you know, similar products. So I went ahead and bought the full size. I like that this full size has the pump applicator. It just makes it so much easier when you're doing your skincare routine. And these two, I just added to my shopping cart and picked up very last minute. Actually, I saw this during Erin Nicole's haul the first day, and I did not know that Sol de Janeiro came out with new SPF. So they have the SPF 50 body spray. This is the Rio Radiance and then the Rio Radiance SPF 50 body lotion. So I figured, you know, SPF 50, love that number, love the sun protection. We are going on some beach trips this year. So I always have to re-up, but I like that it is the body lotion. So this is what I plan on applying first, just all over. And then, you know, if you're at the beach all day or whatever it is, you just need to kind of re-up, then you can follow up with the body spray. I also like using spray sunscreens for my kids. I don't recommend it for little kids or babies, but my kids are old enough to kind of hold their breath and I cover their face and then I, you know, spray them with the sunscreen. But let's try this out actually. Mm. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells like their Kerosa, you know, fragrance. And you can see it's a little glistening. There's no white cast. Oh my gosh. 
I'm so excited to use this. This smells so good. I'm really, really excited for the summer. And then two more sets that I just could not pass up because it's such a great value. And also this first one is so cute. This is the Say Glow Starter Kit. And I am not a newbie to Say Beauty. I am a huge fan of Say Beauty. I love their slip tint. I love their new concealer. I have the new concealer under my eye right now, but this starter kit is so cute. It comes with this little purple travel kit. This is their signature color. And then you get three products. You get a full size of the Glossy Bounce in the shade Kiss and travel sizes of the Glowy Super Gel in the shade Sun Glow and then the Dew Blush in the shade Chili. So these three products, including a full size of the lip gloss, it's a value of $57 but this retails for 42 and then with my 20% off, I paid 33. So such a great value. And you get this little cute travel kit. And then the Sephora favorite set I did end up picking up. I'm still debating on whether to get the other, like there's a sun safety kit with all SPFs and then the summer show stoppers, but I had to get this up. This is the clean me up kit. This I think is one of the more affordable ones. It's $35 plus I got 20% off. But with this set, you get the Say Mini Glowy Super Gel, also in sun glow. So same as the other sets. You get a full size of the Tower 28 mascara, which I believe retails for about what I paid for this whole set. So already you're getting the value in just the mascara. I have not tried the Tower 28 mascara, but I hear so many people rave about it. So I'm looking forward to trying that out. You get the Amika Dream Routine Overnight Hydration Treatment. I love this. I use this overnight. I switch up with the Amika Dream Routine Overnight Hydration Treatment and then the Kerastase 8 hour like nutritive magic hair serum or whatever it's called. So I, I alternate. And then you also get a full size of this Kofi Beauty Kaja Eyeliner in like a dark brown. I've heard of this brand, but I haven't tried it. So I'm looking forward to trying this out. And I like that it's a full size. You also get a full size of the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss in the shade Velvet. This I always hear people rave about, but I haven't tried this lip gloss either. And then you get a travel size of the Youth to the People Superfood Air Whip Moisture Cream. So actually, let's go ahead and open this up. I kind of want to try the lip gloss. <laughs> well, actually, let's swatch this. So here's the Kofi eyeliner in the brown. I like to use the brown eyeliner once in a while, especially for those like no make. Oh, very creamy. For those no makeup days when you just want to like line your eyes a little bit, but you don't want it to be as harsh as it would be with a black eyeliner. Again, we have the Say highlighter. I will probably re-gift this probably to my cousin because I already got this. Well, I have full sizes of this and then I just got it with the uh, Say starter kit. And then here is the Lawless Forget the Filler lip gloss in the shade Velvet. I like the packaging, it's a nice matte bottle. Ooh, a lot of product. Okay, oh, it's got a cool doe foot, okay. Little scoop of lip gloss. I have a lot of product on my lips right now, so I'm not gonna swatch it on my lips, but I'll put on here so you can see the shade. Oh, very nice. That's pretty. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's very like sugary. I'll try it out on my lips after this comes off. Great set. This is a great value. Again, I don't know if I'm going to pick up the other sets, but this one for sure. I mean, it comes with three full-size products and it's only 35 with whatever your discount is. All right, guys, that is everything that I got so far during the Sephora Spring Savings event. I do have a couple packages on the way, including the Danessa Myrick stuff that was not in store, the Groundwork Blooming Romance palettes. Oh, I also got two of her eyeliners. They're really like metallic chrome, very pigmented eyeliners. I'm very excited about those. I also cannot wait to get the Makeup Forever face palette with the blushes. And then there are a few things that are on my splurge wish list. I'm not sure if I'm going to go ahead and get them during this sale. The Prada Beauty, I have not tried anything from the new Prada Beauty collection. They just launched like a lip balm and eyeshadow palette. I'm curious to try out the eyeshadow palette. We'll see, but let me know if you guys have tried that, if it's worth it. I always have fragrances on my wish list, but I'm trying to pare down the fragrances, but there is one that I do want to try. It's one of the newer ones from Killian. It's called Sunkiss Goddess. Oh my gosh, it sounds so good. The notes are right up my alley. And I just love those summery, sunshine, aquatic, like beachy, like tropical scents. So this one has keynotes of bergamot, tiar, flower, coconut. It is a fresh solar scent. It says the fragrance trail melts into ylang ylang and tiar flower. It just sounds so good. I have not tried it. So this would be a big blind buy. It retails for $2.95, so if I'm going to get it, I should get it during this savings event when I have 20% off, but we'll see. So I, I have a lot on my plate right now. I really don't need another full size, but who knows? But anyway, that is everything that I got so far during this Sephora savings event. So we shall see if I end up picking up anything additional 
from this Sephora savings event. I feel like I have a lot going on right now, so I don't know. I think I did enough damage so far, but if I get anything else, I will definitely update you. But let me know what you guys end up buying from the Sephora savings event. I'm always interested to see what's new, what's out there, what you guys like, what you guys recommend. But I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.